Alrighty, so we have now got our engine opened up and the timing chain off of it. What you're looking at is the crankshaft and the camshaft. You're also looking down inside of the oil pan. There's the oil pump and pickup and all that down inside of there. You can also see the distributor and its gears and all that other good stuff. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and we need to prep this to uh, receive our new gaskets, our new timing chain, and all that, and we need to clean this. We need to get as much sludge out of here as we possibly can. So that is what we are going to do next. So uh, I'm going to use degreaser and engine cleaner and clean all this up and uh, show you some before and after shots. So I'm going to pause it now and just kind of show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I want to avoid dropping as much stuff as I possibly can down into that oil, uh, down in that oil pan so that oil pump can pick it up. I really don't want to have to take the oil pan off of this puppy. So I've got my towel in place and uh, that's going to save me from having to do a bunch of cleaning out of the oil pan there. Okay, so I got my oil pan set down there and um, got my towel in place and I'm just using foamy engine degreaser to go ahead and start breaking all that grease up right there. Okay, now as you can see after a few treatments, we even have some parts that we couldn't see before that were completely caked in grease, like a crank position sensor that is now being revealed. So things are slowly, slowly starting to get nice and clean. A process like this just takes time. You, you treat it with chemicals, let it soak, you know, detail it, and just, you know, just take your time and keep moving forward. Okay. So even though this video is only two minutes long, over the course of 45 minutes, I've soaked and treated this part of the engine three different times in order to break all the grease down and all the uh, grease and oil that's caked up on there. So uh, I'm using a combination of engine degreaser and brake parts cleaner in order to uh, go ahead and get this cleaned up. So I'm going to pause it again here and finish it up and show you what the end result will look like. Okay, you can already start seeing the results of our clean. There's our sensor that was completely caked and, and nastiness, so there you go. I'm going to treat it one more time, then I'll remove that towel and finish cleaning. Okay, and you can obviously, especially, obviously see, especially in this area, the results of our cleaning. So now that we're done with that top part, and that's getting all dried up, we're now going to clean off our pan and our surfaces down there with the same method. Only this time I used smaller rags, I shoved them inside of the pan so that way I could clean off that area and not have to worry about getting a bunch of gunk down inside of the pan. So I'm going to pause it again here for you and uh, we're going to soak this and I'll show you what the end result of that will be. Okay, now we're just going to let the bottom half of this area, of the timing area, soak real well here. And we'll go ahead and get that cleaned up. So I'll let that soak for 10-15 minutes, treat it again, and then clean that off real well. Okay, and after about two hours of chemical treatment and soaking and cleaning, this is now the end result. As you can see, we now have all of our surfaces cleaned off. We even revealed a sensor that was completely caked up in oil and grime. And so now that we have all of our surfaces cleaned off, we're now going to need to take some more time with a razor blade and very carefully scrape off anywhere where you see any gasket remaining. And... Uh, finish cleaning this all up but uh as you can see throughout this video this is our end result and this is what we have after uh properly cleaning and preparing to receive a timing chain okay and here is the final result i'm still gonna get up tomorrow and scrape off the uh, gasket surfaces before i install my cover and then i also need to uh go ahead tomorrow and soak and clean my cover as well but uh, we are pretty much done for the day. And uh, we're just gonna get on here and uh, tighten down our timing cog here. Of course, it'd probably help if I had the gun going in the proper direction. Alrighty. And there we go. New timing chain installed, everything cleaned up, ready to start putting it all back together.